what's good everybody my name is relica 19 back on another video and today we're going to be reviewing the uh godzilla vs kong playmates uh godzilla with heat ray so long story short um i've been wanting these figures for a while but i kept passing on them because i was expecting them to you know go down in price a little bit and you know they keep pushing the movie back and i just didn't really see a need for them since there was no hype there's no you know when's the movie gonna come out and uh but with the trailer coming out and pretty much confirmed that it's gonna come out sometime this year uh the hype is starting to uh come in i guess you could say and uh, i definitely had to get my hands on some of these especially at nine dollars a piece um i did get one other one which will be in a separate video but uh, these were, I could only find two of them, and, uh, I wanted to get the Radio Tower Godzilla, but, sadly, I missed out on him, uh, but I'm gonna keep trying to, uh, hunt for him and find them, so that way I can review them, I'm gonna try to review all the figures that they release in this, uh, scale, uh, so, let's take a close look at the packaging, so you can see, Monster Verse, Godzilla with Heat Ray, and then the Battle Damage Reveal, of course, you get your figure here with the accessories in the back. You get the uh, covering for the battle damage and then the atomic breath for this particular figure. Uh, if you see above, you can see uh, Godzilla vs. Kong with the artwork of both of them. Uh, I know these have been out for a while, but I just decided to review them. That way, I can, you guys can have something to watch since I haven't posted in a while. Uh, you have a, the Godzilla vs. Kong logo with some destroyed city in the background. You have the other figures you can collect. Not gonna be getting that, uh, Kong with Fighter Jet. Since it's literally just the same thing as the first one, it's really a different face. Uh, Godzilla Tate Ray, you can see a look at the figure. And then you also get a little read up. Um, as well as another read up right here. And then the logo once more. So, overall, the packaging is not uh, too fancy. I mean, it looks nice, nice colors, the orange and the blue. Uh, it gets the job done, and that's pretty much all we can ask for. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, so taking a closer look at Godzilla out of the box. Um, he doesn't look identical to how he did when I had him in his box because if we take a look at his jaw, uh, he had like a lot of white paint around his mouth. It was like a lot, like it almost covered the entire snow. I think it was supposed to be teeth or whatever, but I didn't think it looked good. I think it made the figure look pretty bad. So I simply went in with an eraser and erased what I could. Of course, some of it just wouldn't come off no matter how hard I pressed or how fast I was doing it, but I managed to get most of it off enough to where I'm comfortable with it. I mean, there's going to be some, but overall you, you can, uh, you can see that he looks okay, I guess you could say. Definitely not the best, but definitely gets the job done. So, another thing that was kind of annoying when taking this guy to the box was getting the tail in. For, oh, I want to say like a four plus, I think, at seven figure, four years old and higher, this tail was like almost impossible to get in. Like, I struggled less with getting the tails in NECA figures, and those were a pain, but just like trying to get it in it was like almost impossible and it's just like you think they make it a bit easier so kids could actually do this themselves but no they did not care for this figure it took a lot and it didn't even pop in i just pretty much had to work it in there so that was another gripe and then of course my last one is the barrel damage and this goes for both figures i got but it is way too hard to get in. Like, I was pressing and trying to 
you know, work it in there, and it was just not wanting to cooperate. Like, it was super difficult. Um, when I finally got it in, I mean, it looks all right. There's a, some of it sticking out. It's not like kids can take it out or whatever. I'm personally going to be leaving it in. I might showcase it for the sake of the review, but I'm not going to be taking that out probably ever. And uh, those are probably my only three gripes of this figure. Um, I mean, the paint is pretty good. The little paint it does have, like on the tail, it looks pretty nice. And it's a $9 figure, so I'm not going to expect it to be amazing. Uh, the draw looks alright now, especially since it's just mostly black now. Besides, uh, I left the white on the inside of the mouth, so that way he still had teeth um, on the inside of his mouth. Alright, I got a call, that's my bad. I know there's some coming out of the sides. Not all of it would come off, but I mean... Having the teeth on the outside just make it look like he was like smiling awkwardly all the time. This gives it a, a better look. Um, the lines, I mean, the best you're gonna get for a another figure. I mean, just pretty much blue with a black dot. I mean, they definitely could have been better, but I'm not complaining. And probably my favorite part is these dorsal fins. They're translucent, and then they have some darker blue at the bottom. And it makes it look really nice since this is like the atomic breath version um overall i mean most of it's just black plastic with some paint but i'm i mean it gets the job done so uh for articulation i mean it's gonna be pretty standard for this godzilla figure the arms are i want to say 360 some of this plastic will get in the way so uh, of course, the jaw can move up and down. The legs can move about that far, and then move about that far back. They're in this. They're sculpted into this place, like one leg a little bit farther out than the other, like he's walking. I think that's pretty nice. Sorry for yeah, another complication, but uh, moving the tail, you can do pretty much 360. It's not going to be too hard to play, but it's pretty good. I mean, yeah, pretty standard articulation, as I've said. But that will conclude the articulation. For accessories, he has this atomic breath effect, which looks real nice, if you ask me. Kind of looks like water, but I mean, the translucent and the blue... And just how it looks. I mean, I think it's really nice. Um, if you open up the mouth, there's like this little peg at the top. And this little hole. And then you plug in this peg into the top of the mouth. And then you will have your atomic breath. And you pretty much have to have him bite down. And there you have him shooting his atomic breath. And it doesn't stay in there too well since, I mean, the only thing keeping it there is closing the jaw but i doubt i'm gonna be shaking it too much when you do that probably should have secured it a little bit more because I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be some kid that's gonna want to play with this and it's gonna keep falling out so uh and then of course for the last accessory you have the battle damage i'm not really wanting to take this out but i feel like i kind of have to for this review it's in there good all right so as you can see it's pretty much just red paint i mean you can see some of his ribs looks really nice and then uh here's a little battle image piece it's like kind of rubbery so you can you have to work it in there a lot but uh i mean it looks nice i don't know if godzilla will actually get this wound in the movie it's probably just for effect but I mean, you know, if a kid's wanting to, you know, play with these and have them get all beat up and it gets the job done. I'm, I've said that so many times, but <laughs> that's literally the definition of these figures is they get the job done. I mean, they're not amazing, but they are still pretty good figures, if you ask me. And I feel like some people can be a little too harsh on Playmates because, I mean, for kids' figures, they do make some pretty nice, um... 
uh, figures. So, I'll pretty much wrap up this review. Um, I don't have pretty much anything else to say about this figure. I know it was pretty short, but um, of course I'll have another review tomorrow on another figure I got. I uh, already had the unboxing recorded so that way I could, you know, mess around with the figure a little bit, see how it is. Um, overall, this Godzilla figure, I would say it's pretty nice. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. Uh, I wanted the Radio Tower one since that's like, you know, the standard Godzilla. But this was the only one they had, so I just decided to pick this one up. Um, I've already said this, but I do plan to get the entire uh, line. Excluding the fighter jet Kong, since that's pretty much just a Henry sculpt with one new accessory um, uh, Overall, I think Pimmage doing their best with this line and um, I'd like to see them continue going Maybe revamp Jax's line because I know they did one for King of the Monsters and their line was not that good So I'd love to see an in-scale Ghidorah moth for a Rodan Pretty much everyone that's not going to be in this film uh, but, I mean, I doubt that'll happen. Um, do I recommend you get this figure? I'd say yes. I mean, you I mean, you're only paying, like, ten bucks in. Did you know that if you stop talking, we don't have to hear your annoying ass? For a Godzilla, I think it's pretty nice. I mean, it'll, uh, be a nice addition to your collection. But uh, it really just depends what you look for in a figure. Like if you want playability or detail or really whatever. When you get yours, I recommend getting the paint off the bottom jaw as well. Just because it, it looks too wonky to me. But I mean, it is your figure. So um, that'll wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.